Congrats to the winner of the last giveaway. Watch this video till the end and comment done to join the monthly iPhone 10 giveaway. It's totally free, and you'll get a chance to win a brand new iPhone in the color of your choice. All you need to do is watch the whole video till the end, and like and subscribe. Okay, listen. And now, back to this bitch that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? Hey. Twitter roasted Miley Cyrus for this awful rap about Cardi B and Nicki Minaj's feud. In her song, Catitude, Miley raps the line, I love you Nicki, but I listen to Cardi. Mm. Miley Cyrus is back to being her classic Miley Cyrus self. Translation, she's back to dilly-dallying in hip-hop, although she swore off participating in the culture in an effort to clean up her image. Her great return to the genre she trashed just a few years ago came in the form of a freestyle rap that mentioned a feud between actual rappers one of which she had a strange and unusual beef with a couple years ago. So yeah, Miley Cyrus is back to Miley Cyrusing, and this time she invited Cardi B and Nicki Minaj to her wacky party. As it goes with all culture vultures, Twitter is having a ball roasting the singer's shenanigans. Cyrus apparently isn't over hip-hop anymore. She performed at the BBC Radio 1's Big Weekend Music Festival in England and blessed her fans with this strange rap. There's a lot of rump up bum bum going on, but Cyrus had more to get off her chest than a little onomatopoeia. She couldn't resist sending rapper Nicki Minaj a brief message. I love you Nicki, but I listen to Cardi, she rapped during her set. It's my theory that Cyrus simply wanted to start a barb riot in the USA because, well, if you know the barbs, then you know it's not that hard to do. Mention Cardi in the same sentence as the word nickel or Nicaragua, and the barbs will attack off pure principle. Lots of Nicki Minaj fans took the Nicki Minaj mention as a bold diss to their idol. In case you forgot or missed out on the action, Nicki Minaj and Miley Cyrus had a public tiff in 2015. Cyrus defended Taylor Swift against Nicki Minaj. Yeah, another beef that didn't concern her. I know it was a part of the script, but you had some bass in your voice. You weren't about to ruin my moment. You know, you bum bitches is the ones I stunt for. You ain't gonna talk shit about Queen Nick and think I ain't gonna hear about it. Shit, if I would've known you was gonna act like this, I would've brought Iggy ass up there and gave her the award with your ungrateful ass. Yo, I told you, I wanted to win the award at the end of the night. Fuck. I wanted to close the shit. Alright? I don't know where your loyalty lies. You know what, Miley? I guess you're just known to fuck up a moment. When I broke down in tears after my performance, you couldn't give me two or three minutes to make people sad? Shit, you couldn't give me that? Why were you in a rush? That shit was so fucking fake. We had to keep the show moving. It was about me last night. Actually, the VMAs were centered around my comeback. When me and Taylor opened up the show, I mean, when we made up, the ratings went up. <laughs> I am so glad I had a hair appointment. I couldn't make the VMAs. Sorry. In the New York Times, she described Minaj as not very polite. A very vocal Minaj used her mic time at the 2015 MTV Video Music Awards to call Cyrus out. And now back to this bee that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press the other day. Minaj stated to direct cameras back to Cyrus who was hosting the show. Miley, what's good? The what's good line turned into a meme almost instantly. And now, back to... This bitch that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? Miley, what's good? Miley, what's good? Minaj and Taylor Swift went on to make up and perform together. Meanwhile, Cyrus never really let Minaj know what's good. So four years later, I guess they're still on the outs? And yes, every single thing you just read about their situation is dumb, because they're all too rich to be worried about what's good and who's nice anyway. But that's Hollywood beat for ya. Nevertheless, Miley Cyrus confirmed to Capital FM Radio that she actually didn't mean any harm at all by her rap lyrics, and definitely wasn't trying to re-come for the rap queen Nicki Minaj. Cyrus just wanted to point out that she supports both artists and doesn't plan to choose between the two women. And this is what she told the radio station. Yeah. Right, I like this. Uh, I love you, Selena, but I listen to Demi. I love you, Nikki, but I listen to Cardi. Now, you went where no one dares to go. and that's As I usually do. <laughs> it never goes the way I plan, either. <laughs> to wade into the Nikki cardi beef. I don't think there is beef now anymore. Right. Actually, one of my songs says, you want to know if we're really beef and there's no beef, I'm a vegan. Mm -hmm. And um, that's kind of like, I just, I think that you're allowed to enjoy two artists that fill a similar lane. Yeah. You know, and I just always grew up collaborating 
collaborating with Selena and Demi, and there was never competition. So I, Ariana is like one of my best friends. There's never when you are authentically yourself, no one can be you. So you're never worried about someone stealing your place because it can't be taken because you're the only one. And I think what they do is so different from each other. That's why they both get a crown. They don't have to share. They don't yeah. have to break it in half. There's no reason to fight over it. They're both queens. And anytime you want to feel powerful and strong, that's my go-to. Cardi and Nikki. Queens wow. polish each I think that you're allowed to enjoy two artists who fill a similar lane. And I just always grew up collaborating with Selena and Demi. And there was never a competition. Ariana is one of my best friends. One fan thinks Miley Cyrus was trying to drum up buzz for a new album. The fan tweeted this. Miley Cyrus is really name-dropping Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Selena Gomez, Demi Lovato, Ariana Grande, etc. to get clout for a new album. Meanwhile, artists like Carly Rae Jepsen rely on talent alone and get overlooked. Ghost Stream Dedicated, the album that saved pop music. Yikes, this fan is definitely unhappy with the pop music landscape right now. Some fans think Cyrus should have just stayed in her own lane. A critic tweeted, What was the point? Nobody said you can't listen to both, so why say I love you Nicki but? That's pitting two women against each other right there, implying you can't listen to one without hating the other. Use your brain, now. The Miley Cyrus rap made her fans really, really appreciate when she just sings. That's all they want from you, Mrs. Hemsworth. One fan goes by the name Kaba criticized. Miley Cyrus rapping? Sweetie, I would barely call that rap, but it's pretty obvious that's what she was trying to achieve. Go back to being a yeehaw. That was good. Oh yeah. There's also that very memorable moment when Cyrus slammed hip-hop culture since she wanted her good girl image back. Need a brief recap? I gotcha. In 2017, Cyrus denounced her association with hip-hop music in the name of feminism. She told Billboard magazine, I also love that new Kendrick Lamar song, Humble. Show me something natural like ass with some stretch marks. I love that because it's not come sit on my suck on my I can't listen to that anymore. That's what pushed me out of the hip-hop scene a little. It was too much Lamborghini, got my Rolex, got a girl on my I am so not that. The great Cyrus and hip-hop schism caused a major social media stir, because people didn't think Cyrus was all that genuine with her feminist concerns. Lots of critics called Cyrus out for using hip-hop culture, uh -huh, and black culture overall, to create a bad girl image that overshadowed her Disney persona, then dropping the culture once that agenda was complete. Cyrus also seemed disingenuous about her distaste for misogynistic lyrics, because hip-hop had misogynistic content years before she was even born. She knew about those lyrics before she started using hip-hop as a rebranding tool, and proceeded to align herself with hip-hop anyway. Ultimately, Cyrus became the crash course on cultural appropriation, which is literally taking on the culture of a marginalized group for sport, without doing anything to relieve or address the systemic oppression that group experiences. So, why the return to rap, Cyrus? Cultural appropriation aside, some critics want Miley Cyrus to stay away from rap altogether just because, well, she does other things so much better. I wish Miley Cyrus would use this new album to show off her vocals instead of her bad rapping, a frustrated fan shared. As an admitted enjoyer of The Climb and Wrecking Ball, I concur. Miley Cyrus has some pretty good vocals that pop music is missing right now since Adele is somewhere sitting on a throne painting her nails. Adele is literally giving pop girls their space to make a little music coin. And Miley Cyrus is playing around in rap beef that doesn't concern her like the clock isn't ticking. When the pop queen returns and banishes her back to headline irrelevancy, don't say you weren't warned. Anyway, Miley Cyrus has a new album on the way. This promo is what Miley Cyrus really wanted anyway, right? The new Miley Cyrus album is called She Is Coming, and it's literally coming on Friday, May 31st. Her rapping stunt hits way too close to this release date, so it's safe to say that's all she wanted. For rap's sake, please just grant the singer's wish and pre-order this mess. I can't guarantee that Cyrus doesn't have any rapping on there, but at least we can cross our fingers and hope she doesn't assault her fans with any more trash freestyles. Starts playing the climb and tries to forget any of this ever happened. You also weren't nominated for a damn thing, okay? So don't worry, we understand. Oh bitch, fuck being nominated. I'll let your dumb ass do all the work. You made a song, Bad Blood, about our beef. While I sat my ass back, and got paid for the shit, all right? So, zero for Taylor, one for Katie, bitch. Well, Katie, thank you, because I smashed like every chick in that video. Comment Miley Cyrus so I can know that you watched the full video to win the monthly iPhone 10 giveaway. And also, like this video and subscribe, and turn the notifications on. As always, my Instagram will be in the description below. Make sure to follow me there so we can become Insta friends. I love you very much, and see you in the next one. Bye!